House Speaker Paul Ryan appears to be throwing in the towel. Ryan told lawmakers this morning he will no longer campaign with or defend Republican nominee Donald Trump following one of the most extraordinary three-day periods in recent political history. Last night, Trump tried to pull out, pull his campaign out of what many called a self-induced death spiral against a wounded Hillary Clinton who today is dealing with the leaking of even more secret emails. We have Fox team coverage tonight. Jennifer Griffin is with the Clinton campaign as the nominee makes appearances in Michigan and Ohio. But we begin with chief political correspondent Carl Cameron traveling with the Trump team in Pennsylvania. Good evening, Carl. Hi, Brett. Well, we're a day after his combative de debate performance, which was specifically designed to reassure Republicans that he can still beat Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump is claiming victory. And I will never stop fighting for you against the Washington establishment that has betrayed each and every one of you. Despite a stronger than anticipated debate performance, Trump has not put his Republican skeptics to rest. House Speaker Paul Ryan held a conference call with worried GOP congressmen today and said he will no longer defend Trump, but until the election, he'll focus entirely on protecting their majority. Trump lashed out on Twitter, quote, Paul Ryan should spend more time on balancing the budget, jobs, and illegal immigration, and not waste his time on fighting Republican nominee. Before last night's debate, Trump held a news conference with three women who've accused Bill Clinton of sexual misconduct. The Trump campaign paid for their travel. The fourth woman, Kathy Shelton, was raped when she was 12 years old. Her attacker was defended in court by Hillary Clinton, and he got off on a technicality. According to the Associated Press, Shelton was paid $2,500 in May by a pro-Trump super PAC run by Trump ally Roger Stone. Hillary Clinton systematically attacked and discredited the victims of Bill Clinton's sexual harassment and assault. And instead of trying to stop it, she made it possible for him to take advantage of even more women. She put even more women in harm's way. The debate's first question was about Trump's boasting on tape 11 years ago that as a star, he often kissed and groped women without consent. I'm very embarrassed by it. I hate it. But it's locker room talk, and it's one of those things. I will knock the hell out of ISIS. If you look at uh, Bill Clinton, far worse, minor words, and his was action. The billionaire businessman admitted for the first time publicly that by writing off huge business losses, he has avoided paying federal income taxes. Did you use that $916 million loss to avoid paying personal federal income taxes? For of course I do. Of course I do. Trump also admitted last night that his controversial call last year for a Muslim ban is no longer. The Muslim ban is something that in some form has morphed into a extreme vetting from certain areas of the world. Running mate Mike Pence, who denounced Trump's vulgar talk about women and canceled campaign events in recent days, was back on the Trump train today, hailing Trump's performance. I'm proud to stand with Donald Trump. Republican National Committee officials before last night's debate said depending on Trump's performance and the polls this week, they could also begin to distance themselves from Trump. And just a few moments ago, Rice Priebus, the chairman of the Republican National Committee, put out a statement saying that he, he and the RNC are standing with Donald Trump, notwithstanding some misgivings from fellow Republicans and within the RNC itself. Brett. Carl Cameron with the Trump campaign. Carl, thank you.